How can I help you? Hey there, I have these uh, Romeo and Juliet models from Shalomi Aziza. Romeo and Juliet, everybody's favorite love story. Do you know what their least favorite fruit was? No, what was it? Cantaloupe. Get it? <laughs> Cantaloupe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the pawn shop today to try to sell some acrylic statues of Romeo and Juliet, which were made by Shalomi Aziza. I came across these statues at an auction. I saw that they were of value and I could possibly make an investment off of them. I would say both of the acrylic statues are in pristine condition. They both have their signature and stickers, so 4000 is what I'm looking to get for both. It's pretty cool. So, Shalomi Haziza comes from an artistic family. Haziza started in Tel Aviv, and he started painting little scenes on rocks and selling them, and they were a huge hit. After he started getting bored with that, he started to progress, and he got big into doing stuff for nightclubs and restaurants, and that's where he got noticed. So, he comes over to the United States, so now he has one of the biggest galleries out in Los Angeles. This would be kind of what he's known for, his acrylics. But I've never actually heard of the Romeo and Juliet's before. Even if you haven't read the play, you know the story. There's two families that hate each other. Romeo's from one, Juliet's from the other. They eventually fall in love. Romeo decides to fake his own death so they can be together. When Juliet finds out she can't live without him, she drinks some poison. Romeo wakes up, finds Juliet. So now Romeo decides he can't live without Juliet. And the tragic love story ends with both of them dying. Um. So these are pretty cool, and they look in good condition. What are you looking to do with them? I was looking to let go of them. Uh, ideally, I was looking for a couple grand each, probably about like 4,000 total. OK, um, so Shalomi Aziza is well known for making acrylics. But at the end of the day, these are just acrylics. They could be recreated. Yeah. So I need to have someone come down, take a look at the signature, which seems to be right here, and also this sticker and kind of tell me what he thinks. OK, sounds good. Give me just a few minutes. Here is the Romeo and Juliet. So I'm very, very familiar with these. The thing about Shlomi is, is he worked in many, many different mediums. He started in Tel Aviv. He's painting rocks. But he really wanted to work in something that no one else was working in. So he decides he wants to try acrylic. Acrylic has a few very interesting properties. It's actually clearer than glass. So this is the end product of that. This work is much older. This is probably at least 15 years old. The thing that's really interesting about these, this one, the Juliet, is a production model. It's still made today. But Romeo, apparently two or three of these were ever poured, and the mold was damaged, and they just abandoned it. So this one is much rarer. What kind of value do you think these have? The Juliet piece, it goes for about $1,250. But this one's a little harder. Because they never really poured it, it's very difficult to put a value on it. I'm going to say it's still worth $2,000 because it is a fairly rare piece. OK, well, I appreciate you coming down. Thank you. Right, have a good day. Good find. Thank you. All right, well. After hearing everything Chad had to say, I'd offer you 500 on each. That's 1000 bucks. Um, I mean, I was kind of looking a little bit higher. Do you think we'd be able to negotiate, or? I'd like to stick around, like, the $4,000 range. My final offer is 1500 OK. Um, honestly, I think I'd, I'm going to stick firm with the $4,000 price. All right, well. If you haven't sold them in a month or two, feel free to come back and my offer stands. OK. Appreciate Thank you very it. much. Thank you. Unfortunately, we couldn't come up with an agreement, but I'm not angry about that at all. Eventually, you know, I'll find a home for these statues.